Codebase. Hello, my name is Nupur. Welcome to our YouTube channel Codebase. Today we will be learning about how to get green building certification in India. So let's understand first what is green building. A green building uses less water, less energy, helps conserve natural resources, less waste generation and provides a healthy space to live. As we all know how the country is developing with respect to urbanization and utilizing more land for building construction and other developmental projects and over utilization of the resources. The Indian Green Building Council aims to empower a sustainable built environment for everyone and to make India a global leader in sustainable development and create a sustainable built ecosystem. IGBC which stands for the Indian Green Building Council part of Confederation of Indian Industry was formed in 2001. Now we will understand what is Green Building Certification. So Green Building Certification is assessing, analyzing a building's footprint or performance from a sustainable point of view. Green buildings are constructed by keeping in mind the quality and design of the building to make it environmentally sound management. It has few ratings. The first one is green certification with qualifying marks between 55 to 70. For green plus certification with 71 to 85 qualifying marks. And for super green marks between 86 to 100 is required. So let's see what are the benefits we get from green building. The benefits are as follows. First is minimal utilization of the natural resource. Second is reduced operational cost. Third is health and safety for all the residents in the building. Fourth is to optimize energy and lower its consumption. Fifth is the occupant's productivity will be increased. Sixth is better indoor air quality. Seventh is proper utilization of water. Eighth is good green corporate image and positive impacts in the market or on the customers, employees, business partners and stakeholders. Now we will talk about the standards to be maintained for green building certification. First is the design of the building and that should be sustainable. Second is water usage. Third is innovative techniques should be introduced such as water harvesting system and usage, use of the treated water. Next one is one should ensure that building is energy efficient. Natural light sources should be there, use of renewable energy such as solar panels, installation on the roof of the building, chargeable lights and usage of the smart appliances with 5 star rating. Next is comfort indoors, that means efficient ventilation for good air quality, free flow of fresh air through windows should be there. Next is efficient use of non-renewable resources and lastly innovations, innovative techniques will also help to give a good rating for in green building certification. Now we would be talking about the emerging policies and regulatory tools help in resource saving potential are as follows. Energy Conservation Act 2001, Integrated Energy Policy 2006, the mission under the National Climate Action Plan, National Building Code, Energy Conservation Building Code, Environmental Impact Assessment, Appliance, Standards and Labeling, Building Certification, Green Rating for Integrated Housing Assessment, Leadership in Energy and Environment Design, State Level Action, National Water Policy 2002, State Water Policies, National Water Mission, National Mission on Sustainable Habitat, Indian Green Building Council. Now let's see who certifies a Green Building Certification in India. The four leading agencies involved in the certification of green building are as follows. First one is Green Rating for Integrated Habitat Assessment. It has been developed by the Energy and Resource Institute and the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and its rating system is used in designing and evaluating new green building structures. Second is Indian Green Building Council. The Indian Green Building Council IGBC, part of the Confederation of Indian Industry, was formed in 2001 and helps to provide green building certification. Third is Energy Conservation Building Code. The Indian government designed ECBC for brand new commercial buildings and Energy Conservation Building Code is to provide minimum requirements for the energy efficient design and construction of new buildings. Fourth is Leadership in Energy and Environment Design. 
LEED is a rating system framed by the United States Green Building Council to check the environmental performance of a building and to encourage sustainable development. Let's see how do we do the registration process in IGBC. Proponent interested in IGBC project certification first needs to get registered with IGBC. Registration is the first step in IGBC to get connected with the agency. After that, they provide access to the required documents, templates, integral communication and other information for registration. Once it is registered, the project proponent can start preparing documentation and calculations to ensure compulsory and credit submissions requirements. Now let's see how the certification works. Project proponent is expected to submit the required documents at the preliminary stage and final stages of the submission. The project documents are submitted in two phases. Preliminary phase, submission of all documents. Later, preliminary submission will be reviewed by a third party assessor who will share the documents within 30 days. Final submission, submission of the clarification on the review given by the third party and then final submission. The final review will also provide the final report within 30 days after awarding this rating. So let's see why do we need a green building certificate. Sustainable architecture helps to minimize the harmful impacts of a building construction projects. These sustainably built buildings are eco-friendly and resource saving. This certification helps you to improve your green corporate image and positive impacts in the market or on the customers, employees, business partners and stakeholders. The footprint of green buildings in India are, it started with 20,000 square feet built up area in 2003. Now there are 10,296 green building projects are coming up and the built up area is 10.24 billion square feet. So the growth rate is tremendous. The benefits derived from the sustainable architecture and green building are obvious and valuable for present and as well as future generation. That's all for this video. Here I have tried to cover all the points about the green building certification and its importance. So if you are looking for the assistance of certified consultants that can help you with this report or certificate, you can connect with our expert at Corpus with the details below. We help our clients with all environmental compliances related to their projects. Please like and share if you found this information useful. You can also subscribe to our channel and visit our website. Thank you for watching.